What's up? I have surpassed 500 subscribers, so welcome to the 500 subscriber special, 25 years of drumming and still not quite a throwback. In this video, I want to talk about the 25 years that I play my drums. I want to talk about the different things that were happening. I want to talk about all other important things so stay tuned until the end watch the video until the end because it is really important and interesting what i have to say but before i start the video i have to thank all the 500 subscribers that have subscribed to my channel so thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much that you have subscribed because it is really important that you have subscribed because it makes so much fun to subscribe and I just want to thank everyone. So thank you so much. All right, let's start the video. Let's start the video with the first stop, which is where it all began. At the age of 11, at the year of 1998, I began to play the drums. But I started to play the drums much earlier, but I got my first drum set where I was 11 years old. And since then, my drumming journey started and it will never end. The next thing that I want to talk about is the equipment that I got or bought in the 25 years of playing my drums. The first kit that I played was a Pearl Export in white. This Pearl Export had the standard sizes that were common at this time. So that means 12 inch, 13 inch rectum, 16 inch stand tom, 22 inch bass drum. And then I have played a snare drum that I got from school. I played also the Pisces 302 symbol series and I used stands back then and I don't know the snare stand that I have used I don't know the throne that I have used and I don't know the drumsticks that I have used back in the day but I have played this drum kit 10 years until 2008 where I changed the pearl to the Kirchhoff Schlagwerk and I have used different type of drum heads on my Kirchhoff set. I have played events back in the day but then someday I changed to Remo and since then I have played Remo drum heads on the kit and I have also used different kinds of symbols on both kits, mostly on the Pro Wear Pisces symbols, but they were changed then to Saluda symbols in 2010. And in 2017 or 18, I bought the Samsung Crash symbols, so there was a change. At this time, then I bought the Dream Ride symbol and then I got some symbols from a viewer and I also have used Wuhan China symbols and the thrones that I have used were the DW5000 throne back in the day and then this throne has changed to the uh, rock and sock throne and I don't know the snare stands that I have played first on my Kirchhoff set but I know that I have bought two DW9000 snare stands one for the main snare drum and the second one for the piccolo snare drum which is on the rack which is really interesting to see that I have made it on the rack mount. So that was mostly the 
equipment, but I have to say that I have also used different kinds of drumsticks, but at the last year I have changed that only to Vigfoth, so in the next future I will play Vigfoth and I also don't use microphones still on this drum kit. I don't have any microphones because I don't have that much money for buying microphones and I don't have also some other equipments that I need for recording the drums so no audio interface or something else and that is basically for the equipment so that's it for the equipment the next thing is that i want to talk about where my drumming background is and what since then happened to my drumming so the drumming background is that i was on several drumming teachers so i have learned to play the drums but then i learned it all by myself so i am a self-taught drummer with learning background the next thing that i want to talk about is the bands so i played in a school band back then and i also played some drum kits in my family because there are some musicians in my family they have bands so i have played the drum set on the bands and i had some projects going on and uh, i have written my own song and new songs will come in the future so i am writing maybe the next song in the next days so that is basically the band background that i have and yeah that's it about the bands the next thing that I want to talk about is which music did I hear all the drumming life and that was basically metal I am still hearing metal a lot but some things changed and uh, I love to hear other music as well I love to play other music as well I love to play also music from other countries so it is really important for me to not only hear one style of music but many as possible and I also love to play many styles as possible the next thing is the social medias there's no day where I can't resist to go into the social medias because they are really, really important for me. And I have to say, I have great, great, great contacts in the social medias and I have some really great drummers in my contacts in the social medias and uh, I love to make youtube videos which is also really important because then i can connect to some amazing people on youtube but the social medias are really 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 important the next thing that i want to talk about is the social part of playing the drums or making music what do i mean with it well i have lots of friends with different skills of making music i have stars in the music scene but i have also beginners or some people with higher skills and i am so proud and happy 
to have them as friends. And I have a lot of friends, of musicians, of drummers in my contacts. I have a lot of different kinds of friends and I am so happy that I also have some professional drummers as personal friends. And in the social medias, I have a lot of friends of different skills of making music, as I have said it, from the top stars to the lowest level, all in between are musicians that are friends. And I am so, so happy. The next thing that I want to talk about is the knowledge of playing the drums. For me, it was always important that I know how to play the drums, that I learn different kinds of things that I can put into my drum set playing and that I can use, that I can put into a approach so I have a lot of knowledge how to play the drums. The next thing that I want to talk about is the knowledge of playing the drums. In the 25 years of playing the drums, I have learned a lot and I can put it into an approach to playing the drums. So I have a lot in my head what I can play on the drums. So I think the level of knowledge how to play the drums is okay. And uh, I am really happy with it and I am really proud to share all that knowledge to everyone because drumming is my life and my experience it means everything to me and i want to talk about that later in this video the next thing that i want to talk about is that i know a lot of stuff when it comes to drumming equipment in the 25 years i have researched a lot to find the right equipment for my drum set for my drum set playing and I have researched and researched and I know a lot of stuff from the cymbals, from drums, from drum heads, whatever it is. And I love to share that also with anybody and this is also really, really important that I need to do it. The next thing that I want to talk about is endorsements. I don't have endorsements, but there is maybe a change soon. I want to change that. So maybe I have luck and I will get my first endorsement. So I am really curious and you should be really curious if I can get an endorsement because that will be really interesting, but I need to wait. So I will see if that ever happens or not. And the last Thing that I want to talk about is that it makes so much fun to play the drums. It makes so much fun to play the drums and I am always happy to sit on my drums and play the drums and it makes so much fun. I have so much fun and I can say that I will never lose the fun to play the drums. So that is also really, really important for me that I have fun to play the drums. 
all right that's it for this video so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and we'll see us in the next video bye bye